Hi kids, today I am here again with the new topic sentence. Students, whenever we read, whenever we speak, whenever we write something, we use group of words to express our feelings, to express our thoughts. So these group of words are forming the sentence. So what is sentence? A sentence is a group of words that makes sense and expresses our thoughts. Students, remember sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with full stop or question mark or exclamation mark. Let's see. For example, Sam loves ice cream. Here, the sentence begin with capital letter S and it end with full stop. Another example, what is your name? Here in this sentence, it started with capital letter W and ended with question mark. Next, what a beautiful place it is. This sentence started with capital letter W again and end with sign of exclamation. So sentence always ends with full stop, question mark and sign of exclamation. Students, now we will discuss types of sentences. Now let's find out some sentences. There are many books in the library. This is the correct sentence. It started with capital letter, ends with a full stop and it has a sense also. Next, India is. This is not a sentence because it is not having any sense. And next, India is my country. This sentence is correct because it started with capital letter, ends with full stop and have meaning also. Look at again an incomplete. Next, Look at the smart board. This is correct sentence. Started with capital letter, ends with full stop. Play children the R. This is also an incorrect sentence because this sentence, these words doesn't make any sense. So this is incorrect. Now we will discuss types of sentence. There are four types of sentences. Let's see. Assertive or declarative sentences. Interrogative sentences, imperative sentences, exclamatory sentences. So, firstly, we will start with assertive or declarative sentences. These are the sentences which tells us something or gives information. So, we can say them telling sentences. Let's have some examples and definition. Sentences that tells us something or gives information are assertive or declarative sentences. For example, we won the match. I am teaching English. Children are playing. The lion is sleeping. Kids, in all these four sentences, I am just simply telling something. I am giving an information. So, or we can say these are the simple statements. So simple statements are the Affirm uh, simple statements are the assertive or declarative sentences and these sentences ends with the full stop. Interrogative sentences. These are the sentences in which something is being asked and these sentences always ends with question mark. Now let's have some examples of interrogative sentences. Where is my book? Who is the Prime Minister of India? How are you? What is your name? Kids, if you see, in all these examples, something is being asked here. And all these sentences are ending with question mark. So all these are the interrogative sentences. Now, next is imperative sentences. Now, these are the sentences in which there is some request there is command or maybe a advice. So these kind of sentences are called as imperative sentences. And these sentences also ends with full stop. Now let's have some examples of imperative sentences. Let's see. 
Example. Come here. Open the door. Stop the music. Kids, if you see that in all these three examples, some command is being given. So these are imperative sentences. Next is, again some more example we'll take. You should drive slowly. You should visit a doctor. We should help others. If you see, some advice is being given in all these three sentences. So these sentences are also imperative sentences. Another example from request. In these sentences, please help me. Please give me your pencil. Never tell a lie. So these three sentences reveals that some request is being made here. So if there is a request, command or advice in a sentence, it means these kind of sentences are the imperative sentences. Now next is exclamatory sentences. These are the sentences in which there is expression of certain feelings. Feelings may be kind of excitement, wonder, joy, sadness, joyfulness. So these are some feelings. If these kind of feelings are expressed in a sentence, means such sentences are exclamatory sentences. And exclamatory sentences always ends with sign of exclamation. And what is sign of exclamation? Let's see. This is the exclamation mark. Let's have some examples of exclamatory sentences. What an obedient child. How beautiful this rose is. Hurrah! We won the match. What a pleasant surprise. Alas, his grandpa is no more. So kids, if you have seen these examples, sudden feelings are expressed over here. So these sentences are the exclamatory sentences. Now, after the types of sentences, we will discuss what are the parts of sentences. So there are two parts of sentences. That is subject and predicate. Now what is subject? Subject is that part which tells us about whom and about what the sub sentence is being spoken. So that is subject. And predicate is what is being spoken about the subject. So let's have an example and understood it clearly. See, Sonali sings a song. Here in this sentence, we are speaking about whom? Sunali. So, Sunali is the subject of the sentence. And what is being spoken about Sunali? That is, sings a song. So, this part of the sentence is the predicate of the sen sentence. Now kids, let's have some examples of subject and predicates in different sentences. So, let's see. First, Ravi and Aman go for a walk every morning. Here in this sentence, Ravi and Aman, both of these are the subject of the sentence. Why? Because we are talking about Ravi and Aman. And what is being spoken here about them? That is, go for a walk every morning. It means, go for a walk every morning is a predicate of the sentence. Similarly, here in the second and third sentence also, Monday comes after Sunday. Monday is the subject. Comes after Sunday is the predicate. Third, Harry listens to music. Here Harry is the subject and listen to music is the predicate of the sentence. Furthermore, examples of interrogative sentences. What are you doing? Here in this sentence, you is the subject of the sentence. Why? Because here we are talking about you and what is being spoken about you is what is he doing. So here what are doing is the predicate and you is the subject here. Similarly here in the fifth sentence also, this is also interrogative sentence. Here you is the subject and gone to market is the predicate. Next in exclamatory sentences, how beautiful she is. Here we are talking about she. She is the subject here and who is beautiful? She is beautiful. We are talking about its beauty. 
so beautiful is the predicate or how beautiful is the predicate of the sentence similarly in the seventh sentence this is also exclamatory sentence what a pleasant surprise you are talking about surprise so surprise is the subject and pleasantness it is its predicate so what a pleasant is the predicate of the sentence next in imperative sentences please listen to me who will listen to you you so we have to assume you here so we have to assume the subject in this in, in this sentences so you is the subject here and please listen to me is the predicate here similarly again go there go there is also a imperative sentence here we have to assume the subject you so you is the subject here and go there is the predicate here so students we have discussed various examples of subject and predicate in the sentence so subject is about whom or about what something is be being spoken that is subject and what is being spoken about the subject is the predicate of the sentence so what we have discussed types of sentences and parts of sentences that's all for the day thank you